Welcome back. You are watching Aussie Indian. And of course, India is world renowned for its exotic and delicious food. And it was recently the Indian Food Festival at the Shangri La Hotel at the Rocks in Sydney. And our producer Raj got to speak to Chef Varun Gujral about what makes Indian food so special. So, let's take a look. I got Varun Gujral. Varun, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Thank you. How is this uh, collaboration, how this idea came about? Look, uh, Chef Bo and I, uh, the Shangri-La Hotel has been like a second home to me. Oh, okay. This was uh, the first place I actually learned how to cook outside of the family business. Uh, I started my culinary career from here. And uh, since I've opened up the new restaurant at King Street Wharf, uh, there's been a lot of hype and a lot of attention. And uh, Chef Bo asked me to please come along and highlight and showcase how amazing Indian food can be. Uh, there are a lot of small operators and people that aren't doing Indian food justice in our community, unfortunately. So they've asked me to come along and just go extravagant and make the most of it. So I think that's what we're trying to do today. Yes, yes. Well, I India is uh, actually famous for all kinds of food, from north to south to east to west, you get the whole variety. Uh, are you covering the whole lot? Look, we've gone from uh, South Indian, we've covered a little bit of Central and of course North. Uh, that's where our family background is from. Uh, you take, you know, we've taken over a few of those staples from the South Indian cuisine, uh, from the sambar dal, we've done the string hoppers. Uh, from the, you know, the Central India, we've you know, had to go this classic, almost culinary street food items that everyone sort of associates Indian food. The chaat papri, the gol gappe, uh, tikki. Uh, and of course, then from the north, I've wanted to do something a little bit special. So we've got the classic dal maknis there, but doing things like chikhandri ran, doing a full uh, goat and doing a full lamb and then breaking it down in front of the guests and creating something new. Yes, yes. Well, when I came to Australia, it was almost 26 years back, uh, there were uh, the place where I live in Eastwood, didn't have any Indian restaurant, we got three now. Uh, so obviously the Indian uh, cuisine has uh, is becoming more and more popular. Uh, what do you think is the reason? I think uh, over the years, I mean, Asian influence has come into Australia, uh, whether it was Thai, Vietnamese, uh, you know, Cambodian, all these Asian sort of cultures have sort of come into it. And uh, Indian was never the first pick of the Australian clientele. It was always Italian, you know, sushi. I think over the next four to five years, you'll see Indian food really boom. Uh, and in fact, I think from next year onwards, I think it'll be talk of the town. Just like Mexican had its, you know, big, uh, you know, uh, time in the sun and, you know, enjoyed that sort of uh, celebrity status. I think Indian food's going to be the next big thing. Yes, yes. And uh, I think the more and more people have acquired the taste of spices and uh, you know, adventurous food rather than just doing a bland roast chicken or something just generic. Yes. I think Indian food is really taking over and uh, there's nothing, no other cuisine like it, quite yes. simply. So <laughs> it's, it's the best, in my opinion. Of course. I, uh, you are talking to the right person. <laughs> well, the thing is that uh, there is plenty of uh, uh, fusion food. Like, for example, you see some of these uh, Chinese and Indian food combination, some Italian and uh, Latin food and Spanish and so on and so forth. Is it something of the future, you think, the fusion food? Absolutely, it's probably one of my, my something very close to my heart. Okay. I, I love, so I was classically trained in the French cuisine uh, and I'm growing up in an Indian family, so learning how to use and collaborate those spices, the aromatics, growing up with my dadima, my grandmother, okay. you know, Saturday mornings, just while she's roasting the spices and learning how much of a jvan to add to how much uh, jeera or those sort of things, so it is very close to my heart. And um, yeah, I think you know, incorporating this sort of spices into day to day lifestyle of Australian people, it's going to be um, amazing. Of course it is. Well, uh, what about the vegetarian food? A like, lot of people now, the uh, percentage of people whose diet is changing to vegetarian is increasing by the day. Do you cater for them? Or? Absolutely. That's uh, So half of our buffet items are vegetarian today. We've got a beautiful taba sabji, uh, you know, catering to the various types of dals that we do, mixed vegetable curries. I mean, Indian food is, when, when vegetarian people go out, they come for Indian because not many other cuisines have that sort of... Uh, there's so many sort of options and dishes that they can offer. So I think we're very, very blessed that Indian cuisine and Indian food has such a large part of it being vegetarian. Yeah, of course. A uh, lot of uh, talk in the social circles is uh, this uh, uh, commercial food is very different from what you cook at home. Uh, what do you say to them? I think it's true to some extent. I mean, for me, there's no curry like mom's curry. It's quite <laughs> simple as that. You know, as much as you're in the kitchens, but you don't see many home cooks cooking the, you know, uh, a butter chicken. Um, so doing food on a commercial level, we're able to showcase a lot more variety, and a lot more richer and almost heavier style dishes, but it's also keeping things quite light and you know, friendly and uh, we'd love to do more variety. At home, it's generally one sabji and one meat curry, 
but it's a different sort of blend of spice and different way of cooking technique. Um, but idea is a good commercial operator must be able to keep things fresh. Mm. And that for me is the key to good good food. Is that it's fresh, if it's tasty, you're using good quality produce. Um, and that coming from the home cook to the commercial cook, yes. it's key. Yes. And one other thing I look for when I go to an Indian restaurant, for that matter, any restaurant, is the ambience. Uh, you know, the where you eat the food and how you, how the setup is and how one can really sit and enjoy the food. Uh, what, what's your take on that? It's a philosophy close to my heart. Uh, my father always told me, first you eat with your eyes, then you eat with your nose, and then finally you can eat with your mouth. Uh, so if it doesn't, if the ambience isn't right, if the feel is not right, if it's not a relaxing, sociable sort of setting, you won't enjoy it as much. And that's what we've tried to do with the venue we've taken over here. Is we've tried to make it a relaxing, you know, dim the lights, we've added a you know, bit of color and theater to it, making that slightest little Indian touch to everything. Um, it, it's key to a good overall a night and a good, good overall meal, quite simply. <laughs> Varun, of course, the other thing is that uh, a lot of uh, uh, cookery shows on the TV, you might have seen plenty of cookery shows, in fact. Hundreds. And uh, Yeah, that's right. And every time I look at that show, I'm looking, where is this uh, Indian cuisine, the famous uh, Indian cuisine? That is, uh, how do you think that it, when compared to various other cuisines around the world, like French or Italian and European and uh, Arabic and so on, where does uh, Indian cuisine fit in, you think, in today in this world? Today in this world, look, there is, there are quite a few good cookery shows that do feature uh, Indian cuisine. It's growing. Indian food's not easy to cook. Not, not for Indians, absolutely. But for asking an Australian person to cook Indian food, they'll reach for their you know, nearest sort of supermarket or the nearest restaurant. Um, which is sad though. I think Indian food should be in people's houses and I think it needs to be seen and people need to be educated more. Not just on the Indian aspect of things, but the way we incorporate spice into day-to-day -day living. I, tell, I teach my friends. When you're making mashed potatoes, add a bit of nutmeg, add a bit of you know, curry, uh, curry leaves, add a bit of mustard seeds, and all of a sudden they're transformed into this amazing dish that they go, wow. And cookery shows, I mean, if it helps educate people and helps helps them engage in understanding how to incorporate day-to-day -day, you know, um, spices in, I think it's fantastic, and I think there should be more of it. Yeah. Well, a uh, lot of uh, youngsters uh, who may be looking at this program and listening to you may want to become um, uh, chefs who are going to be cooking Indian food. What kind of advice would you give them? I studied to become a chef. Uh, sorry, I studied to become a, a lawyer. Uh, my last year of studying law, I decided that no, I wanted to join the family business. I then took up uh, you know, studying in Manly and working through the culinary uh, institutes. I uh, was given the honor of working over here as part of my internship um, under Chef Michael Keane. Uh, during that time we won a chef's hat. If it's in you, I mean, it, it's, it's a very demanding business, but you have to love it, and I really do. So I encourage it. I think the more chefs out there, um, you know, it, what we do is not just making food. It, it, it's artistic what we do. And uh, I, I encourage, I, I, I want people, I, I want everyone to be a chef, not even just for doing a commercial level, but do it, do it at home, do it for your friends, do it on day to day. <laughs> well said, congratulations on putting on a fantastic show today. We are uh, going to enjoy your cooking and thanks for talking to Aussie India. Thank you so much. Welcome back, you're watching Aussie Indian. As promised, we're now going to continue to bring you more highlights from the Indian Food Festival, which was held at the Shangri-La Hotel in The Rocks in Sydney. And last week, we brought you a special interview with the Indian chef over there. And this episode, we're going to be bringing you an interview that Raj had with the head chef, Bo Sohansson. Here's Raj with Bo. We've got Bo Sorensen, uh, who is the head chef. Bo, welcome to the program. Welcome to Shangri-La, Sydney. Thank you very much. You have put on a fantastic show today and uh, amazing uh, Indian cuisine. Um, of course, I was just saying that uh, India is famous for three things. One is cricket, another is uh, Bollywood and Indian cuisine. For sure. Yes. And um, now, how do you think the uh, Indian cuisine has grown in the last, say, a couple of decades? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be truthful here. I'm actually from Hong Kong. I was born and raised in Hong Kong. Oh, really? Um, so I've got a lot of Indian friends. Um, I grew up going to the aunties, okay, oh, right. and having lots of Indian food when I was growing up. Right. Um, I've seen Indian group explode, not just in the traditional sense, 
but now into it's almost fusion. So Varun has gone to the next level. Um, and here in Shangla, Sydney, uh, in Cheyenne or in Cafe Mix, uh, we also try to explore different spices and flavors and try to mingle everything together. So I think India, as you know, has so much history in spices. Um, and you know the Portuguese bring the potatoes to India, and also now you have so many different you know dishes from the north to the south. Uh, it's just amazing how much uh, flavors and and tastes uh, that's come out from India. So whenever I went to a you know a five star hotel like Shangri La, yes. uh, anywhere in Australia, uh, it was not easy to get Indian food. Do you think that uh, that uh, has changed and the Indian food has become part of uh, the cuisine available in all these hotels? Yes. Um, I would say generally one or two dishes on an average buffet that we do here uh, weekly is Indian. Um, it's never the, the, the highlight, I would say. Again, Shangri-La, yes, is an Asian hotel, um, but we like to try to showcase all kinds of, uh, of cuisines, you know, from Asia to Western cuisines and showcasing what's best here in Australia, uh, utilizing that and with spices from India uh, and ideas um, as well, because uh, we want to try to touch everyone, uh, not just one. Uh, palette. We want to hit everyone's palette um, in one in one room, basically. Um, so Indian is always a favorite. I would say it's probably what's the most eaten um, in in our buffets. Thank you. Yeah, the other thing I was talking to Varun was also this fusion food. Now you see a lot of. Uh, uh, for example, I see restaurants like Bombay Chinese, uh, for mm. example. Yes. Chinese food combining with the Indian food and the Italian food combined with French, a European style and all that. Now becoming a, uh, you know, sort of a, a world uh, the food, uh, I don't know, brand or something, yeah. <laughs> fusion food. What do you think of that? Uh, I think it's just seeing more and more. A lot of chefs are trying to mingle. Uh, and see what happens. Uh, just tonight, so far at Buffet, we actually have a saffron sushi, and in that, a tandoori chicken. So in our sushi, we've actually applied uh, Indian ideas uh, to a Japanese uh, sushi. So our Japanese chef, who's been with us for about 25 years, has adapted that for us tonight. Uh, so we love to play, uh, we love to try new things, um, and I think you get the best of both worlds, best of both worlds, sorry. Um, so you may have the kick, but you want those 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 hints uh, to make another thing happen. I think sometimes putting one and one together, you get a whole new creative aspect. Um, and yeah, we're learning this right now uh, with Varun. Uh, we've we've really uh, some things I think we're going to keep together uh, in the years to come from what we've learned from this buffet. You know, India is uh, uh, western wide and. Uh, from north to south to east to west, you have got different kinds of food, mm. a lot of vegetarian stuff. That's right. You know, from south, uh, uh, you know, you go to any place in um, India, you get plenty of variety of uh, vegetarian food. That's so, do you think that that is uh, catching up? Because I see a lot of people yes. their diet becoming vegetarian. Yes, um, I think the world is becoming more healthy. They're more conscious about what they eat. Um, and our buffet right now, we've actually removed a lot of meats, uh, highlighted fishes, and and getting the best produce we have in Australia uh, to highlight these vegetarian dishes. Um, and I think it's definitely a, a growing trend. Um, especially now being summer here in, in yeah. Sydney, uh, people are going to start to uh, trim down and eat more veggies. Yeah. So yes, I think it's a growing trend. A hundred percent. Being in a hotel, you have to cater for vegans, vegetarians, you know, and all the different intolerances. So we have to learn that. And I think through Indian cuisine as well, I've probably had the tastiest vegetarian dishes. Um, and even though. I don't know how to make those base curries, um, but it's so much flavor, and it makes vegetarian food so interesting. Um, and I find that yeah, Indian cuisine does it very, very well. Um, that's something I have to learn. <laughs> well, uh, all those uh, uh, Indian food lovers who are looking at this program, mm. uh, what kind of advice would you give, and would you like to invite them to come and uh, taste Indian food in Shangri-La? Yes, I uh, would definitely advise everyone uh, to, to come, not just for, for the Indian uh, festivals we have right now, but we like to always, always showcase the best we have here in Sydney. Um, and partnering with Varun and Manjeet um, is a, a true honor, because you got a hundred years, I would say, in recipes, uh, and they're showing that with us. Um, so it's very exciting, um, and hopefully I can get some secrets off them. <laughs> so come and taste it. Um, uh, I'm sure I'm going to be very, very full tonight and there's going to be lots of food left behind, so <laughs> yeah. come on over.
Yes, same here. Thanks very much, uh, Bo. Uh, fantastic uh, festival and uh, hope I'm sure we will all come back to taste your uh, Indian cuisine in the future also. Right. Uh, hopefully, again, it's going to be a, a yearly event. So this is our first time. Uh, and hopefully this, this partnership will grow uh, in, the, in the years to come. So thank you very much.